Hello, Gus we here. I'm so excited to show you the Content Bugger platform. This is a very detailed walkthrough that will explore all of the features. So this is the login screen. As usual, you can just sign into your account to get started. So the first thing you meet is the onboarding screen that will walk new users through the core features and then videos explaining how they can actually make use of them. So this will be uploaded shortly. Then you can see the content discovery, the multi-channel composer, the planner, the automation, and also the an analytics. We'll get into each of them right away. So the first thing you do when you get in here is you meet the intuitive dashboard. Here you can find your name, you can see statistics on your posts, automations, accounts that you've connected, and each of these can be clicked for you to actually access those pages. Also you see the compose button that will take you to the blog post composer, the social post composer, the image composer, and then as uh, links to just discover certain content types from uh, articles to quotes to GIFs to videos. And then you can see your shared campaigns, recent posts, discovered snippet of some articles shared to you. And then you can easily start sharing from here. And then you can see quotes also. So this is the dashboard. Then by the left hand side, you can still uh, navigate to the composing area and then you can discover contents and then you can also view your post. So right up here, you can still find a way to see all of those uh, functions as you want. So this is the ov overview. Content Bugger actually allows you to find the best content and then to share the best content. We've been able to do this with, with the power of our discovery and then with our multi-channel composer that allows you to compose content while bringing other contents from the web. And then the automation that helps you automate everything without interrupting. So it's a really robust platform. And uh, and then we'll start. So the first thing we'll do, we'll kick off with the discovery. So clicking on discover, you will, you'll be able to see different content type videos, GIF quotes, articles. So let's start with the article content type. So getting here, this is the article discovery page. So we can easily use this keyword to search. Let me use the word food. So what it does, it returns different results on food immediately. We've connected to a very powerful database, so you're sure to get fresh, relevant content. So what makes this really powerful? Like I said, it's not just about finding content, it's about finding the best content, keyword being best. So the more parameters you can actually use to narrow down your search and the more you can actually get statistics on those posts, the, the better you can actually find the content that will actually perform. Because this is not just, just about finding content, this is about performance, how this can actually drive traffic to your, to your website, how this can actually increase engagement to your platform and all that. So that's why we've added and some advanced features or advanced features. So what is hap what happens here, you can actually use another keyword. So we use the word food here, and then we can still use another keyword, say healthy, and then add more keywords. So we can say it should not contain certain keywords, and then we can even limit to certain domains, and then we can exclude certain domains. Also, we can search by the age of the post here, or we can actually select by language, and then this is where it gets really powerful. We can actually sort it out by Facebook likes, by shares, by comments, by Pinterest likes. All of these statistics, it's actually giving you even performance call and spam score, giving you ways for you to actually narrow down and ensure that you are only sharing the best content, the best content being the keyword here. So going down here, for every result that you find, you will be able to see the Facebook likes and then see the Facebook shares. And then we've been able to add a performance score so you have an idea of how this particular content is actually performing. So it's, so it's really intuitive and it's a very powerful way for you to find just the best content across different niches and really advanced features. You are very sure to narrow down and get only the best content. So when you are done, you click on this icon or whatever, you just pick the post that you want to share and then click on this little icon here that will take you to a like, social post or the blog post sharing. So for this demo, let me quickly do this for social media. But well, if we were to use the blog post, what it would do, it will actually pull out the entire content in this post for you to be able to edit and then uh, share to your blog account. So we'll click on the social posts. What it does, it immediately loads up the composer so you have an idea of this post. There's a live preview here. And then we have the hashtag groups that allow you to create certain groups of hashtag. So you don't have to type in all the hashtag that you use every time you want to make a post. For this now, I've been able to add two hashtag already. So immediately I select that, it just brings out all the hashtag that I've added to that. So clicking on apply will automatically add that to the post. Same way we've added UTM tracking for you to actually do more with the way you track your links.
Then right here features the all-powerful Content Blogger Composer. I will explain this uh, very soon, but what it does is same way you've been able to discover the article while you're in this editor, you can still discover stock images directly from the web using a search. You can upload your own images, you can find GIS on the web, you can find quotes, you can find articles, you can find videos, and it's really, 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 really incredible. So now that we've actually discovered the article, it took us here. The next thing that you'll be able to see is to select accounts. So we've been able to create a wizard style such that every action that you're trying to take in Content Blogger, you don't have to to move back and forth. So if you click search for an article, you find the article, next it takes you to this editor, next it takes you to where you can actually add your uh, account. And from this point, you can still decide to just click on this icon here, and then this brings up uh, the account that you want to connect. So I can easily decide to connect LinkedIn, LinkedIn Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and all. So just for this demonstration, let me, let me just click on uh, the Facebook. What happens here is I've already connected Facebook. So what this does is still loads up all my Facebook accounts and all my Facebook groups. So not just Facebook pages, you can actually uh, work with your Facebook groups also. So it's simple, you just toggle the accounts you want to add and then that's that. So I'll just leave it at that or let me just add this one. Let me add this, okay. And then click on save. Automatically this loads up and then add that account to this flow. And the beauty about this is you don't even need to stop the process and then go and add your account. So while on this page, you can add the account and then just easily continue the process. So we made it very easy so that you don't have to, to go to your settings page primarily to add your account. Next, you'll be able to see all the accounts that you want to share to. So we've added a way for you to further customize this. So even though you've selected those accounts, you still want to create unique content for, let's say, this Facebook page over another Facebook page. So you can still further customize what the caption will be like. So and also, if uh, it doesn't fit into a particular me uh, social media like this one, this is Twitter. And right now, Twitter is uh, not available. It's, it said content must not exceed uh, 280 characters. So we know we can now customize this now for Twitter, which we've been able to do now. So right here, you are able to see or customize for each account. And then next you move to publish now, and then you can decide to actually schedule this post very pretty easy. Just select the location and then choose a date for it and then save as drafts if you wish, and then save. So in just one process, we've been able to discover articles and then share. So this is a preview or a review of the post we just made, seeing which accounts are there and then the status of each account. And then we can actually see the icons right here and then we can decide to edit back as we please. So that's a very short process for you to discover articles. I will show you another content discovery type, which is the videos. So clicking on videos, we've been able to add a way for you to discover contents on YouTube without actually leaving this editor. So we've added not just the default YouTube search, but also an advanced feature for you, for you to search using advanced keywords and then even add a combination of keywords and then select the, the language for the video and then also sort it out by the date, relevance, title, video count, whatever. So it's, it's pretty intuitive. So I might just use the keyword here. And also, apart from YouTube, we have daily motion and we are also adding more platform Right now, we are working with the team at uh, Videos to actually integrate their platform and a whole lot more platforms on the way ready to actually connect this. So the video discovery or every content type discovery will just keep improving over time because we are constantly adding more to this. So what you can do here, let me use the word uh, uh, the food. Sorry, I like food a lot. <laughs> okay. So these are certain results. Now we can decide to even refresh this or change the way it's been sorted. Weight loss diet, for example. And then this returns a search. And then we can use the advanced feature to search by view counts or so many other statistics, relevance, and the rest. So when we are done with what we just picked up, we can just simply click on this. I just actually picked that up at random. 
and then from here you can view the views comment likes and then you can narrow down your search here we can now decide to share to social posts or to or to blog posts for this example let me just pick social post option so what it does again it pulls out that content into the editor and then you can move step by step to the to, to choosing an account that you want to share that content selecting customization if you need to suit it for that audience and then move down to publishing or you can save this draft which i'll just do so saving that now we've been able to still discover videos so that's how easy it is for you to quickly discover videos gif quotes and then articles so the content discovery tool puts everything in your hand for you to get the statistics that you need to find the best performing content and then with a simple click or with a series of clicks you can sh easily share those uh content so uh the next thing i will show you now is the composer so the, the content blogger composer allows you to compose content for both blog posts both, both social posts and then image design so we've created three ways for you to design images for you to build uh for blog posts and then for your social post let's look at the blog post editor first so the blog post editor actually allows you to do to find content in real time to actually look for articles and then to find videos and then to find quotes so while you are writing your content you have the power of everything that you need on this editor so it's pretty sweet so right here i can just i can still come here and search for an article while i'm trying to compose an article so you can easily write So you can easily write or you can come down here find any article and then easily drag and drop that into your editor So we can just find any article and then it's easily drag and drop. So what it does is pulls out the entire content in here. So right here, we can now proceed to using our formatting option to increase the style, make it bold, come down here, search for images. I'll use this, call this Eatly, since this article have Eatly there. So while you're working on your articles, you can easily drag and drop, find contents on the web directly without actually leaving this very powerful editor. So after that, you can still come down here, do this, make it uh, change the highlights for that particular section, make it indented, change the color. Same way, while I'm working there, you can still look for you YouTube videos. Let me say, let me say room, for example, and then that is easily returns a search online. Now we can simply just drag this. Uh, YouTube video right here and automatically we have the YouTube video in here so we don't even need to leave this editor for us to find videos to find whatever thing we need to do so with just a simple drag and drop we are finding content in real time we can even find content on uh, let's say um, Da Vinci so you can find codes relevant to what you are actually building so these are related quotes to da vinci so i can still drag and drop so just imagine how much power this gives you so you don't even need to leave this editor for you to actually find contents that you need so with a simple drag and drop you're finding those content even gifs you can easily find a gif say wow for example and then easily drag and drop so just imagine how quick we've been able to build this very sweet page with all the formatting options that we need, we even feature emojis, hashtags, there's a whole lot. You can change your font and, and a whole lot more. Now, when you're done with that, you move to the next page. And what this does, it, it loads up the blog account. So we've been able to do something here. Create a system where you can add a primary account, one primary account, and then you can add multiple secondary accounts. Why is this very important? Because People like Google, they, they have certain guidelines in which they use to judge your SEO ranking. So if you have one same post 
post directly to multiple accounts, there's a problem. But if there's a way where you have, because there are guidelines, if you need to copy one content and then copy to another place, there needs to be some referencing to make Google understand that, okay, this content is, uh, it's not just being copied, but it's actually following the proper guideline. So for sake of your SEO, you cannot add multiple blogs account. So you have one primary account, which will be posted primarily for that post and then adding secondary accounts. So you can also select the status for this post. If you want this post, when it's published to your blog, to be on draft or on listed, whatever, that's fine. If you need to add a new account, simply just click on this icon and you can connect WordPress, you can connect your Medium account. Now we're adding Tumblr very soon. So this is pretty simple. Then again, we've added more power here, such that same way we've decided to post this to our blog. On understand something, you might still need to post that same article that you just shared on your blog back to your social media. So we don't want to give you that uh, the delay of now waiting for your post to be posted to your to your blog post and then you now go and copy the link and then try to compose to add a new social post. What this does, if you just select any account here, as soon as Content Blogger posts this article to your blog, it Im Im immediately grabs the URL and then post share this into your social media account in one simple action same way you can see add accounts right here so it's pretty intuitive and made it very easy for you to actually do stuff now this is the uh customizing page for this article so we can see the article we just created you can see our headline this is the primary account and then we can see our secondary account what is posting to and then we can see our social shares so this is a snippet of how content bugger is going to share these articles to your social media account after it, is, it has posted to your blogs. So it's very simple, it's very easy. And then when you, when you move to the next one, you can still schedule your post, save as draft or publish now. So with one action, we, we've been able to compose our articles and, and then actually share those articles. Now, imagine how easy that was. We didn't even have to look for content. We just went to the content blogger composer, found our content online, found all the images that we needed, and then shared it so easy so this is a review for this post you you can see all the channels being posted to you can see the primary secondary and then you can see the social sharing so that's a very amazing uh power in terms of the content blogger blog post composer same way we also have our social post composer it's worked the same way as the blog post composer but this time around sorry when you drag and drop an article what it does it's it loads up the entire article and then you can see a preview. Same way we can still run a search here and say business. So while you're trying to compose your article or whatever thing you want to share, you can easily just run a search here and then easily you drag and drop. It's a very simple process and it's very in intuitive. Same way you can drag and drop articles. You can actually find uh, stock images same way. I can use Hong Kong here. So, searching up for Hong Kong, now we'll be able to see images, and same way you can easily drag and drop, but I'll just leave that for now. And now we can find our quotes also. Use a keyword, say power. Easily, that shows different posts. Then you can drag and drop, GIFs. And then, not only that, you can also add your own image and add your own video. So, if you need to upload your own image, just click, in, just click on that and then select an image or video, and then that uploads here, and then when it's here, you can easily select it and then load it up into that uh, composer. So when you're done adding your content or writing whatever thing you want to write, same way, you can add content as usual. Now, follow the same process. A simple wizard, select your articles, or sorry, select your accounts, customize for those accounts, then quickly publish. Simple. So that is the content blogger social post composer. Next, let's look at the image designer. Click on the image designer. This loads up the content blogger image designer page. We understand how important your images are or images are in terms of social media engagement and uh, generally everything online, you need graphics. So that's why we've added this feature for you to write from this platform still design your own images. So we can just click on add a new post here. Right here, we, we have images. And same way we can find images. Same way, when I want to design an image, let's say I want to design for a business, all I can do is just click on business here, and then I can easily select 
that image and then start adding our test so it's pretty simple you use the word business then when you're done with this sorry you can add your frame then i can come here change the color of this say to this and then i can delete it quite a whole lot so you don't even need to look for your image background just come here run a simple search and then voila you start finding content stock images and then you can add different uh test uh styling and then we've added some frames and we're adding more and then we even quotes if you need to design a quote let's say you want you want to do a quote on success so what we need to do is just click on this and then automatically that put that quote sorry gets into this editor from here we can add the type of font we need to use now increase the size for this So then we can move this. Let's take this up here. Then move this down here. Change the color to this, or say so we change it to green, for example. So you have a whole lot of flexibility as to what you can do with this. So regardless of how you want to play it, you actually have that. Then now we can also reduce the opacity for each of these areas. Change how the opacity flows for that. So this one now might be faded in the background very subtly. So there's a whole lot. And right here, you can also add more elements and then make use of it. So when you're done with it, what happens, you can easily just share this to your social media. Clicking on social media share automatically, Content Blogger generates a PNG version of this. Loads up the composer for you to start sharing your blog post, or you can easily just save. Clicking just save, save this, and then you can download this particular image to your computer and then use for whatever campaign or platform that you have or that you need to do. So it's a pretty simple or very powerful function in Content Blogger. So right now we've been able to look at the blog post composer, the social post composer, and the image design. So just a quick recap, the blog post composer allows you to build your blog post com content with rich formatting and then allows you to find stock images, videos, uh, articles, real full articles that you can just drag and drop into your editor and then start editing. And then you can share using multiple parameters. So that is that. So before we move over, let me go back to the home page again. And then I'll move to the next feature, which is the planner. The planner is a, is a way for you to actually see your content strategy in a calendar view. So if you scroll down here, you'll be able to see a particular date range. You can see all the posts and then you'll be able to see the accounts that are connected to those posts. Now you're able to see how many posts is for that month. And then we can actually move to a different view to December to see what we have in December. Same way we can move from the month view to the week view that shows us all the posts we have for that particular week and then you can move to the day view for you to see the post that you have for a particular day so using uh, this date range here you, you will be able to select the particular date that you have in mind and then see every uh, post on that particular date to have a very clear understanding of your content strategy but where this again gets more exciting we are always uh trying to make things very simple and easy so if, when you need to post for a particular date, let's say you have an, an event February or March 2020, 18th, and you want a post there, you can easily just put that date in the calendar. Simple, add, click on this plus icon, click on the particular post you want to post for that particular date. In, immediately, this schedules this post for that date in the future. All you need to do now is to use our quick editor here to find a particular content, then, drag and drop that content to the editor or if you already have what you need to schedule you easily just uh start writing but i will go ahead and sorry i'll go ahead and drop that in there so we have our post easily dropped there with all the formatting option you can add our tagline and then move to the next phase select your account customize those accounts and then that that is done so that's what the planner gives you a very 
good way for you to manage your content strategy and then see everything on the platform. Now we have our campaigns also. The campaign feature is a way for you to group your content strategy. So let's say you, you run different business in, businesses in different niches. So you can simply add a campaign. Let's call this, uh, let's say business for this, or let's say health store. So that's the name for the campaign. This creates a campaign. Now, Content Blogger now allows you to start adding posts that are segmented under this particular campaign. So if we need to toggle this on, active on, you can do that pretty easy. And then you have our statistics, we have our logs, and a whole lot more. So for you to just add a post to this campaign now, you can click on this, and then this again loads up the composer. And every post that you add from here will be sorted out into this category. So this is a very good way for you to categorize your post for even better level of management. So you can, so you can see all your posts that you've added onto this campaign. And then you'll be able to see statistics on those posts or how they're performing. And then you can see blogs on the activities on this particular campaign. So it's a pretty intuitive function, the content blogger campaign function. So Another feature is Content Bugger Automation. Content Bugger Automation is a very powerful function that gives you the power of sharing your content consistently without ever interrupting you. We understand that most businesses don't really have the time to actually find and share content consistently. Most people understand how much content they need to drive, but they don't really have the time. I understand running a business is hard. You, you have so many processes going on. And that's one of the edge that we want to give you with Content Bugger, a way for you to automate those without ever interrupting you. And for us to be able to achieve this, we know that your brand means a lot to you, so you need to, uh, to be sure that you're only getting the best content. So with Content Bugger, we've created a platform that not only help you auto-post, but also auto-discover. So you are able to automatically discover content and then automatically post them. So and for us to really achieve this, we've created a very powerful AI, smart filters and rules. So the filters and rules that you're actually using are very deep so that you can actually narrow down exactly what you want and then be ensure or be sure that these posts are actually relevant. And even with those level of uh, prerequisites, we've, actually, we've also added a way for you to uh, review those content so you can actually automate it and then content bloggers lines up all the posts or discover those posts lines it up for the particular dates that you set but what it does it allows you to just come in log into the platform and then with one click you can approve those contents so it's pretty simple so i'll start with the article links to let me use the article links to blog for a start so what it does it it shows you the campaigns that you have here already and then you can click on this and then you write the new campaign. Let's say blogs auto. Now, same way you can select the status if you wanted this to post as draft or unlisted or public. If you need to add secondary accounts, you can easily add those here. If you need to add another WordPress account, there's a tutorial on how to add, add your WordPress accounts here. To follow the process so that you can post directly to your WordPress account. So when you're done, if you need to share back to your social media accounts, pretty simple, you can do that. And then when you're done with this, it takes you to our rules and filters. This, this is where it gets interesting. We still give you that level of automation. So you can use the word business. Now, immediately you, you start adding your content or your keywords, what we we want to achieve is to show you a preview of what it will look like. We understand that you're trying to set up an automation uh, flow here. So for every keyword or for every time you refine your results or your query, sorry, it shows you a result preview so that you know if this query that you're doing is it's actually delivering the type of content that you want. So we don't want to take you off guard. So that's why you can now come back here and say, you want certain keywords, maybe the result to maybe show automation, now maybe business automation. Now also you can come back here and say, okay, I don't want certain domains to be here because 
maybe they have bad reputation or you just don't like the articles now or you can even limit to certain domains let's say you trust cnn and you're so sure that cnn can give you certain type of news so what you do you you limit to that particular domain so you have different criteria and you can use not just one keyword you can use a series of keywords for you to actually refine the type of results that this particular automation will be bringing and how those results will actually be posted same way you have your language for you to choose the language that you want this post to be in and then you can choose the, the age of the post any at, at a specific date also so you can say the, the post should be at a particular date for it to be added to this automation and all that so i'll just put that any date so again this is the powerful automation flow that shows you the rules and filters and then gives you a preview of what you're going to get and then next it takes you to optimization where you can add the hashtag that will be automatically added to this you can add a replace or you can add an append hashtag flow i'll just keep that and then how do you want this post to be posted so i can say i want this post to be posting every every day so you just select one day or every week or every five hours every two hours as you wish so automatically content blogger is using the filters i've used to pull out those articles and then using the frequency parameters here for you to actually publish those posts easily you can also decide to start this campaign now or you can start at the selected date so i can say i want this campaign to start january 1st to october whatever so you can select those dates right there or you can just decide to run it immediately now do you want to fetch the post for the next two days in advance so the post that content blogger will be posting two two days from now it will start fetching them today and then pull it out into the content blogger platform so when you go under your campaign you'll be able to see what is there and now with the review function we still give you some power so content blogger can use those parameters to find those articles and then place it there so you come back when you log into the platform you just be able to see where to now approve those posts so clicking on approve when i'm properly schedule them to be posted at the date that you set so we're giving you the option to still review what this automation is bringing and when you're done you click on save automatically that automation goes live you can see the automation is now being processed so if, if you come back to this uh, aut automation a while back you will be able to see all the posts that content blog have al aligned for you right here so that's for one of the automation recipe same way we can still use that same flow to to discover articles to our social media also we've added a way for you to discover not just articles but also videos so i use the videos to social media option right here same way you add a new account select the name select the name select the accounts that you want this to go to move to the next now for now like i said we have two channels we have youtube daily motion and we are and we're adding a whole lot more and then you can select the relevance in which uh, YouTube is or the channel is actually showing the results. So I'll just use the keyword here called cool automation. Now, same way the articles flow, we can now see our videos. So now you'll be able to see different videos on this. So if it doesn't really flow in what you really want, so you can come back here again and then add more keywords to review that so i can say school and maybe i can say software that again gives you different results so i can say automation so you are able to review these articles and then select the parameters in which this is actually showing if you actually like the result that you are getting there you can proceed or you can decide to maybe change the parameters in which this result have been shown maybe video counts now you want it to be shown by video counts or you want it to be shown by relevance or title as the case may be when you're done you follow the same process you add your hashtag select the frequency and whether you want to review this post and then click on save so here we are able to see this and if we try to view the post when content blogger start populating these articles or the videos okay for this it's already populating so using that automation now we can see so many posts that is being 
scheduled to be posted one uh, every one hour so if we still come back here and we don't like certain posts right here we can still decide to delete it such that it it goes off the queue or the posts that are in queue so this is a whole lot of power for you i will just delete this since that automation is active so that's that so we've been able to look at the videos to social media articles to blog but the videos to social media still follow the same way as videos to blog each other this time around you are posting to blogs and vice versa now we've added rss feed to social media almost every blog or every popular website that are sharing news and contents they actually have a blog and almost every website that have a wordpress that is built on wordpress sorry has a default blog url so we, uh, apart from the abilities for you to use those uh, filters to actually run the search using our api for content you can also use the rss feed flow for the rss feed what happens here is you go to any website let me say mashable for example so mashable.com slash feed now every site that's built on wordpress has a default rss feed url mashable as feed if it shows like this you know that that your rss feed url is active so now any website on the web so far you can get the rss feed url content blogger can automate how it, it can pull out pull out content from those website and then post to your accounts as you decide so i'll just use this keyword select the accounts that you want this to post to now you move to nest all you need to do is drop the rss feed url here and then you move to nest select the hashtag same way you can select the frequency let's say i want this to be posting once every day or i want to save for review the max post per feed update that shows how many posts when content tries to pull out content from the rss feed url at every time it does that how many posts do you want i can say i need 10 posts to be populated for every time it updates the feed so clicking on save this automation is already saved and then if we go back here we can see the accounts that this automation is set for you can see the status you can see the next refill time now this is the time right now so the next refill time is this time the date and time so clicking on view posts automatically when it starts populating those posts okay automatically it has done that we can see all the posts that it has been able to carry from mashable so these are contents from mashable sites automatically that content blogger has been able to pull since we use 10 it's picked out 10 posts from that rss feed now i chose the review option that means i need to approve this so clicking on this automatically approves this post or i can decide to say okay i don't like this and disapprove it or maybe delete it so the more if i decide to approve all of this meaning all of this will be in queue and then they will start being posted at the frequency that i set it is one one hour it will start posting one hour approving all all of them doesn't mean it will publish all of them but it means they are ready or approved to be published at the set frequency that we chose so that's really powerful so i'll still just go ahead and delete this automation since this is just for a demo purpose right now so that's that now another automation is the bulk uploader now if you run a system where your contents are being managed as a maybe in a csv file or regardless of whether or not it's managed in a csv file if you just want to go through the option of doing a marathon on uploading all your contents inside the document what it does it's using this this automation flow is you can select the account you want this to post to quickly now you are able to now upload all your content as a csv file this time around so we've been able to give you a demo of what or a template of how this automation flow should be like so let me just download that and open it for you quickly so opening this opening that downloaded uh, csv file shows you the format in which you are supposed to actually build your csv post or the post that you want to upload via csv so i think my okay it's open already so you can see the date this is the format for your dates just add your dates add the, the message add the image url select the link if you want to add a link to that post and now you can see link with preview so all you need to do is follow this format write all your articles once you're done 
you simply come here click on upload this loads up your uploader let me see if i can get that post i just downloaded now okay okay this is it and then moving to next you you can add your hashtag groups so now we can now set schedule the time slot so regardless of the time that you put into that document you can decide to follow the custom time slot in the csv file or you can now ov override that and say i want you to post every post on that csv document at a particular set date so there's a whole lot of flexibility so you can see how it's interpreted so you have an idea if if your date format is like this this is how it's been interpreted so you you just have an idea this is for clarity sake so when you're done you click on save and as usual that loads up that and then if you go in there you'll be able to see your post that are waiting in line based on everything that we just added in that csv file so this is pretty powerful also and then you can delete that so that is the content burger automation also there's the my post page that gives you details for every aspect of your shared content so once you start sharing your content all the statistics from uh, comments likes and everything will be shown on next to those, those posts so you'll be able to see all the full statistics and when you actually publish a post clicking on this icon here takes you to this overview page where also your statistics are well displayed properly also we are building a full-blown analytics page which will even contain more complex data for you to pull out or manage your content strategy that will be launching soon so i'm very excited to have walked you through this demo i know it's a very long demo but that's just how powerful this system is and it actually offers a whole lot of value and i really appreciate you taking out the time to sit with me here watching this demo and i'm very sure this will actually make a very big difference in how you actually discover content how you actually plan those content how you actually automate those contents and most importantly the engagements and sales that you can make from having a very consistent content strategy also there's you have your account page here where you can actually see certain things your account settings you can see, use the help center menu for you to actually find more articles on how to use this platform so thank you thank you thank you if you've not signed up for the demo just go to contentburger.io to uh, sign up for a better access if that's the open at the time you're watching this or you can just visit our website URL start a free trial to start using this incredible platform. Thank you